Hello there fellow YouTubers, this is DR96AS and today I will be showing you how you can uninstall bloatware from your uh, Android device uh, because usually, um, well in, ca in my case especially um, my uh, manufacturer, I mean so my in uh, network provider uh, gives me my phone with a lot of their applications which uh, results in extremely slow processes and takes up a lot of memory to be honest so I just want to delete all that and uh, you can you can normally do that I mean you need to root your Android device if you do you can go on to my blog and check that out or um, and once you're done with that you can uh, go on to my other blog which has the in-depth guide on setting up your Android SDK and your drivers for your phone so once you're done with all that you can uh, move on to this uh, video so this video just uh, using the command prompt and on accessing your uh, cell phone through the Android database I think that's what ADB stands for I may be wrong I'm actually pretty wrong I'm not a developer or anything so um, I apologize if I'm wrong um, so yeah that's basically what I'm going to tell you today um, well, let's get started first of, first off uh, you need to open command prompt um, Windows 7 by the way so that's Hence the different stuff. And open command prompt, and uh, you're gonna notice that the uh, directory is not necessarily the same as uh, what where you installed your SDK on. So, uh, for example, the reason why you, you need to be specific about the directory is, for example, you won't be able to use the ADB functions um, outside that directory. For example, if I type ADB over here, it's gonna tell me it's not recognized. So. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is to change the directory. So the first thing I'm going to do is to type cd and then a uh, colon. So that's pretty much it's going to take me to the a. Okay, hold on. Um, before that, I'm just going to type a colon, and that's that's what happens. Um, okay, so uh, uh, now to find out where I keep my um, Android SDK, I'm going to go on to the um, the Windows Explorer and go on to my computers and then find my way through there which is control A um, which is A then Android so Android SDK so basically that's what we're gonna type over here I'm gonna type CD space um, let's see oh wait huh got a new movie downloaded anyway so see so that's CD space Android uh, I think it's a backspace yeah it's a backspace um, and then press it and then it comes back to the Android now if you type ls it okay that's the Android command so never mind scratch that and then you type CD again and uh, just type whatever you see on this place over here so it's Android SDK so type Android hyphen SDK and backslash again and going into there and then once again we can type CD uh, we're gonna go into platform tools so CD platform tools um, and backspace a uh, backslash again we're gonna go into that and then now we can type ADB so basically uh, it started the process for ADB and uh, that's it that's what the thing is so ADB has started so um, now what you're going to do is to test if your device is officially connected or not. So you're going to type ADB space devices, which is D-E-V-I-C-E-S. And then it's going to check my phone, and as you can see it says S5570A. So if your, if your device isn't uh, on this, it means that the drivers haven't installed properly, or your phone... Okay, so uh, we've done ADB devices, and we know now that... Uh, the device is working and it's connecting to the Android database or whatever it's called. Uh, so right now, uh, what we're gonna do is um, uh, just uh, change the directory to uh, cd. Uh, that's the command for changing the directory. Uh, oh wait, before that, I forgot. Uh, I type adb shell, which uh, gives a command to the uh, command prompt to enter the thing, and you get a uh, dollar sign which basically means it's asking you for the root user permission 
so you type su and your phone should be asking you to allow or deny so keep your phone in handy if you don't respond within the next five seconds uh, it gets rejected so you do that and then you get a pound sign or a hash sign uh, before the blinking uh, cursor thing and uh, there now you can uh, change the directory and access the user files and edit them so what we're going to do right now is type uh, cd which means change the directory to system uh, system slash app which is where all the applications are stored so it just says uh, if you don't get any error it means that it's uh, changed the directory and now we're just going to uh, type ls which means uh, show the list of the applications there and as you can see I have a whole bunch of shit over there which I need to delete but for now we can uh, just delete the uh, ones which I need so basically uh, we have a lot of app tons of applications over here and uh, we will be deleting them uh, deleting not everything just the ones which I don't like so that's pretty much the browser application which is over here I hate that application it sucks on the Samsung Galaxy so I'll be installing Dolphin browser or something on that later on so uh, yeah so basically the command for removing the application is rm space um, and now you have to type in your system uh, where the uh, where the uh, application is found which is system slash app uh, slash and then the bra and then the name of the program. This is case sensitive, guys, so you have to use your um, capital letters and places in the appropriate areas. So uh, right now, let me just type the name of the application, which is browser dot apk, and then hopefully when I press enter, I don't have any error. Whoops, sorry, uh, I don't have any error. Um, so I'm just gonna press enter and I don't have any error so it's officially deleted from my phone the same thing can be done to other applications as well for example if I want to remove a, a widget I can just type uh, once again system slash app slash uh, dual clock which is a really slow widget on my phone dual clock dot apk and I press enter and that gets deleted as well and uh, so that's uh, how you basically do everything. If you uh, want to do, if you want to know anything else on how to use your Android SDK, be sure to contact me through my YouTube channel or my uh, website slash blog or whatever. So I guess that's all for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the written review on my uh, website usid.co.cc. So have a nice day, guys. Thank you for watching.